we're now asked to graph what time of day our SMS is sent. So perhaps here we can now keep the structure. If I look at my destination network, you'll see it's not really giving me the correct option. There's no SMS there. So I'm just going to go back to all. And I happen to know that there's an item here called type, which differentiates between call and SMS. I'm just going to drag it in here. You'll see it says type. I'm going to put it onto SMS. And what you'll see is in this case, we've said SMS, but because we were using sum of duration and SMSs or text messages don't have duration, it's showing us zeros. So sum is not a great representation of SMSs. So what I'm actually going to do is change that and rather base it on count. And when I say OK, you'll see it now tells me what time SMSs are sent. Notice the format here because we formatted as time. It looks a bit strange. So I'm just going to go and change my number format just to be a general. So at least it looks a little bit more reasonable. And you'll see there's a very distinct pattern here.